Okay, darling. Just take a seat over here. No, not on the opposite end of the table. You have to sit next to me. How oh, else I'm supposed to wrap my arms around you? It's been how long since I claimed you? I know, you know to stop teasing me by now. There we go, that's right, right next to me. Now, let's have our little dinner date. Okay, so what would you like? I'm not going to make you have blood for dinner, <laughs> obviously. But maybe I can interest you in something a bit more fitting for your palate. So, what would you like? Italiano? Maybe Thai? Mexicano? Or maybe uh, Japanese? Say no more, my dear. Servants, make it happen. They are so useful. Not as useful as you, obviously, since they aren't nearly as adorable or stunningly precious, and their necks are nowhere near as white. But they did already set out my bottles of blood for me, so... That's nice. And <laughs> they are in the fancy glass of wine bottles too. <laughs> I love it. It's so fancy. I think I love choosing which one to drink more than I love actually drinking it. There are so many choices. Look, there's a blood of a liar, blood of a killer, Blood of a traitor, or a lot of other ones. The deeds of the person make such a big difference for the taste of the blood. Now, I haven't had a mortar food in a while, but I still vaguely remember the taste, so I think I can make a comparison for you. The blood of a liar tastes a bit like um, lemon chicken. Not exactly, but that's the closest thing I can think of to compare it to. The blood of a traitor tastes is, mm, sweet, like a raspberry tart. Of course, the quality of the taste differs a lot of depending on how, mm, what's the word, how extreme the deeds were. For instance, the blood of a liar who just thought Betty lies about how she got on her test. We still taste like lemon chicken, but it will taste like leftovers that had to be reheated. The blood of a traitor who just stole credit card for her friend's joke might taste like a raspberry tart that was left out for a week or two. But if it's the blood of a traitor who sold state secrets or something, well, that's going to taste like the best raspberry tart you ever had. <laughs> you know, I live for such a long time. So long that my vampire powers had really developed. To the point that I can view the memories of a person just by drinking their blood. That's one of my favorite parts of sampling different bottles of blood, to see what makes their blood taste so good or bad. Which is why I can't hold back anymore. Let's start with the blood of a um, hmm, traitor. Mm. Ah, disgusting. It's a blood. A blood of a woman who cheated on her husband. Normally, this is a real gourmet bottle that any vampire would just absolutely love to get their hands on. But not me. I hate cheaters with all my guts. 
it's repulsive. So for personal reasons, I can stand this taste. Because I would never cheat on you. Not like this sorry excuse of a wife. Come to my head, I'd never entertain the thought of cheating on you. You could line up every person in the world and give me dips on whoever I wanted and I still choose you and only you every single time. In all my centuries, you're the only human I ever loved. I need to get this taste of this trash out of my mouth. <laughs> At least she's no longer with us. Hopefully, the next bottle will taste better. How about a blood of a killer? It's okay. The lead up to the murder was kind of nice. There was a lot of emotional tension building up. There wasn't any one thing that really sent the woman over the edge and made her kill her sister. It was just a million little things. The disappointing part was that the murder was pretty sloppy. The kill wasn't clean and she didn't really even try to get away with it. She just left the body out in the open. She was too busy crying and tried to hide it. I would never be this sloppy. When I remove someone, I don't leave behind any evidence. And that's pretty important when there are so many people who want to take you away from me. <laughs> no. I'm too good. That's what implies to get caught. Oh, what else do we have here? Oh, blood of a thief. Not my favorite, but it's a close contender. You know, it's pretty funny. The blood of a thief tend to taste like um, garlic mashed potatoes. <laughs> Isn't it just so ironic? A vampire drinking blood that tastes like garlic. Well, finger crossed they stole a jam or something and not a pencil. Oh. Hmm. This one is actually great. It's Super ironic because this girl actually got stolen from. I was expecting to see um, she stole something, but the first memory that comes flooding is in how someone stole her puppy from her. This is why you should always keep a close eye on your things. That's why I always keep an eye on you. Because I'd never let anyone to take you from me. It doesn't matter who comes knocking or how many. If they are trying to take you from me, I'll tear them into dust. You're mine. And only mine. And no one. I mean, no one is going to change that. Got it, darling? Of course you do. You're such a quick learner. Why? I remember when I first claimed you. You learned immediately that running away from me, it's a bad idea. <laughs> You're so smart and obedient. And that's one of the many reasons I love you. Anyway, 
What are the bottles do we have here? Smuggler? Nah. Deserter? I just had like two bottles of that the other day. I'm good on Deserter for now. Blood of a liar? Hmm. Yeah. I guess I could go for a little liar blood right now. Mm. Mm. Now, that's good stuff. That's what a liar should be like. We've got another wife this time, but unlikely the traitor butter I started out with, she's actually a good one. See, her husband actually committed murder, but she lied to the police to cover it up. Now, that is some lying that I can get behind. That's the sort of a wife a girl really should be. She even helped bury the body. If that's not loyalty, that I don't know what it is. This woman is seriously a model for people everywhere. Well, kind of. She wasn't very good at lying. But hey, her heart was in the right place. <laughs> and it also pumps in delicious, delicious blood. It kind of makes me sad. You don't commit any serious crimes the police would question me about. I would love to lie to the police for you as a display of my absolute unwavering loyalty to you. <laughs> and hey, I'd be a much better liar than she was. <sighs> I had a lot of blood. Maybe I should call it quits. Ah, what the heck? Just one more bottle couldn't be so bad. Let's see. What's left? Ah, no way. We still have some. Oh, I thought I drank it all. Oh, this is wonderful. Darling, you have no idea how good this blood tastes. This is my favorite favorite flavor right here. It's a blood of a stalker. Oh, I wish I could tell you how absolutely divine this tastes. But there isn't really a food I can compare to it. It's just so, mm, so, so unique. Just imagine the best taste you ever tasted, okay? Imagining it? Now, multiply that by 10. And then multiply by 10 again. And then this blood still tastes even better than that. Okay, I can't wait any longer. I want to savor every sip, but I know... I can't control myself, so pardon me my lack of table manners. Why, I'll chuck this bad boy. Mm. <clears throat> That's it. That hits the spot. <sighs> Sometimes I forget why I even drink blood other than yours. Well, other than sparing you a death from excessive blood loss, of course. But the buttons like this remind me. No, you have no idea how good this girl was. She threw away her entire life to stalk the man she loved.
She stopped showing up for work. She did everything to make time more stalking. At first, she stopped cooking. But then, eventually, she just stopped even eating, really. She was too hyper-focused on stalking her crush. Nothing stopped her. No threats of legal actions. Not actual legal action. Nothing. Now, that is dedication. That's the type of flavor that every blood should strive to achieve. And you know, I really see a lot of myself in her. Because I could watch you every second of my life and never get bored because you are so absolutely breathtakingly stunning you're a miracle of the universe I love you I love you I love you, my one and only darling. You deserve every luxury. You deserve to wear the finest clothes, to sleep on the softest beds, and to eat the most delectable meals. Which reminds me, just... Where is your 